Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Every Thursday we talk hiking, backpacking, travel and gear. If you love those things like I do, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Today we're exploring around Weaselhead Flats in Calgary, Alberta. It's a natural river delta park spanning 585 acres with spruce forest, hiking trails, bears and bird life. Weaselhead Flats is located at the mouth of the Elbow River in the southwest part of the city where the river enters the Glenmore Reservoir. There are two ways to access the park. From the south side, park on the west side of South Glenmore Park just off 90th Avenue Southwest. From the north side, enter at 37th Street and 66th Avenue Southwest. This entrance is at the west end of North Glenmore Park, where you can find several parking and picnic areas. The park was created in the early 1980s and occupies about 237 hectares. The origin of the name is uncertain, but it's likely to be named after the Sutina chief Weaselhead who was in power at the time of European contact. It's an easily accessible nature area that offers several activity options. Hiking trails and pathways are excellent for walking, trail running, and cycling. You could probably cross-country ski in the winter, but forget about groom trails. This is a popular area. After parking from the north lot, proceed west and then southwest to reach a bridged crossing of the Elbow River. Across the bridge is a circuit of paths that follow the meandering river. We decided on a 4.8 kilometer heavily trafficked loop trail that follows the Elbow River and is good for all skill levels. The trail offers several optional routes and is accessible year-round. There's plenty of wildlife with both deer and bears sighted in the deeper sections of the park. It is an excellent place for bird watching with several species present year-round. We enjoyed the flocks of gray jays, also known as whiskey jacks, but definitely beware of incoming bird droppings. The chickadees were unafraid and approached all who would feed them. You will need to bring your own seed, and they seem to be particularly fond of unsalted sunflower seeds. We also saw several species of woodpeckers. Look for the birdhouses throughout the park. The trail was well used and featured a few bridged crossings. Runners beware and watch out for slippery sections. There are many park benches positioned throughout the trails to rest and enjoy the scenery. The trail was well established and I will definitely return in the spring when back in Calgary to see the river when it's not ice covered. There appear to be several sections that may be good fly fishing locations. The new southwest section of the Stony Trail Ring Road passes along the west side of the park. Access around the city was imperative but the resulting noise pollution can be heard in the park, especially along the southwest quadrant. There are numerous signs at intersections to guide you through, so feel free to shorten or extend the trip as suits you. You can continue south to complete the loop around the reservoir or double back to the bridge to find your way back to the parking lot. The Glenmore Reservoir is a nice walk in itself as you can pass through a section of Weaselhead Flats to complete the loop. So hey guys, that's it for this week. Why don't you guys leave your questions in the comments below or chat with me on Facebook or Instagram. I really look forward to hearing from all of you. Till next week, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Pop Steve on the move.